Hello, welcome back to the Tree of Life Crochet Along. This video is going to be part 60 of the crochet along, and we are going to be doing rows number 16, 17, and 18 of the flowers graph. And they are essentially rows 4, 5, and 6 of the flowers graph. It's just repeated. Okay, and let me put my instructions right here for you to copy or take a screenshot. Okay, and they're real simple and we're familiar with these already, so. All right, let's get started then. Okay, um, for the last row we anchored down our right and left loops and for this row we're going to be working on the back side and we're just going to be making single crochets all the way across. Okay, so I'm on the back side for row number 16. Okay, and I'm just going to put a single crochet in every stitch going across the row all the way to the end and you can count them if you want. You should have um, 144 when you're done with this row. Okay. And over here when we get to this space, we've already put our single crochet in this space in the last row. So there's a single crochet to work into. Okay, just keep going all the way across in every stitch put one single crochet and I will meet you at the end of this row. Alrighty, I am towards the end of this single crochet row. And when you get to the very last stitch Okay, we're going to chain one and turn and go ahead and put a single crochet into that very first stitch. All right, and now we are ready for row number 17. All righty, the first thing we're going to do is put in our four single crochets and we already have our first one. So we need four all together. Two, three, and four. And on this row, we're going to be anchoring down our middle loop with six double crochets. Okay, so let's position that loop over that next single crochet. We're going to yarn over. Okay, make sure you can see that stitch through the loop. And make six double crochets into that same stitch, anchoring down this middle loop. Two. three, four, five, six double crochets, anchoring down that middle loop. Okay, and you should be able to move it back and forth. Okay, and now we are going to make nine single crochets. Okay, Stretch your work so you can see that very first single crochet. Be careful not to skip it. We're going to put in nine single crochets. Two. Three. Four. Five six, 
seven, eight, nine, and then in the very next stitch, we're going to anchor that middle loop with six double crochets. So yarn over, position that loop over that next single crochet, and we're going to make six double crochets into that same stitch, anchoring down the middle loop, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and there we have it. Six double crochets. And after your six double crochets, we're going to make nine double crochets. I'm sorry, nine single crochets between each flower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then we're going to anchor down the center center loop with six double crochets, okay? One, into the same stitch, two, three, four, five, and six, and nine, nine single crochets again, and then anchor down the middle loop, and then nine single crochets, and then anchor down the middle loop. Okay, and we're going to do that all the way across, and it's row number 17, six double crochets with middle loop, anchor down, and then nine single crochets and we're going to do that all the way to the end and I will meet you at the end of this row. Alrighty, I am to the last flower in the row and I need to anchor down this last loop with six double crochets. one, two, three, four, five, six double crochets. Okay, and now nine more single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, chain one and turn and put a single crochet into that first stitch. And now we are ready for the next row. Alrighty, I turned my work and now we are going to do row number 18 and it's just nine single crochets, chain one, skip the six double crochets, and nine single crochets again. And we're going to repeat that till the end and we'll have four single crochets left over. Okay, 
So we already have our first single crochet and we're going to put nine in all together. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we are to the flower, and we're going to chain one, and then we're going to skip right over the flower and make sure it's pointed out that way. And we're going to find that first single crochet on the other side of the flower. We're going to put our first single crochet in there. And we're going to put eight more for a total of nine. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, chain one and hop over to the other side of the flower and go into that first single crochet and make nine single crochets again. That was the first one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and we're going to keep doing that all the way across nine single crochets when we get to the flower we're going to chain one and then we're going to hop over to the other side of the flower and make nine single crochets and then chain one and then nine single crochets and chain one and nine single crochets and I will meet you back here at the end of this row. Alrighty, I am to the last flower. I'm going to chain one, go to the other side of the flower, and we should have four single crochets left to do. That was one, two, three, and four and go ahead and chain one and turn and put a single crochet into that first single crochet and we are ready for the next row okay and it's looking like that on the back turn it over and we have our three completed rows of flowers and aren't they just darling oh they're so cute okay i will see you guys in the next video